So in this case, those $100 are used each time and each time we use them to enter and exit market. That's why those money are called fast money. In other words, those money works harder. So here are some pros and cons for each of the methods. So the pros is that you need much smaller capital because you can reuse it over time. So what are the cons in day trading or in trading? First, you have competition. You are not alone there. The first who heard news and jumped in is the one who will earn more money, usually. But there are not only people there, there are also bots there. And bots is not something new, they exist for probably five or even more years now. The bots are simply a code that was written when doing some technical analysis automatically. Not even a human, you don't need to see this. Bots are trained with machine learning to understand when is the good time to buy. And these boats can buy instantly with millions of dollars. And so that is why you see in different markets prices went up and down almost instantaneously. Because those are not humans, those are robots. Robots code robots. And the last con that I have for trading is that your taxes are much higher. Yes, it's good to have higher taxes because you earn more, but in this case, in this particular case, you pay taxes from the same tax bracket that you're in. So the pro for investing is that the taxes are lower because you pay usually what's called capital gains and they, depending on the country, they can be up to 50% less than you would pay when you're doing day trading. And combined with time that you spend usually less time, it means you earn more per hour if you're invested in a great company and great opportunity, right? But the cons for investment is that you have to have a big capital to have a really nice investment unless you invest in the company that just exploded. I think the bigger problem with investing is that you see your gains on the paper, but you never sell this. I mean, you wait for a year, two, three, four, five, and when you decide to sell, well, you have to wait. Whether with day trading, you see instantly what are your gains are and what are your losses. One more thing in favor of trading that investment is hardly ever be a source of monthly income. Unless you invest in companies that pay dividends and you have a lot of those companies, you receive those dividends quite often. But other than that, well, investment is usually long term, as you know already, right? What are your experience with trading and investing? Just write me in the comments down below. I'm pretty sure you have a lot of things to share with others as well. Now, if you like to trade, hit like. If you like to invest, hit like as well. But do not hit like twice because that doesn't count. If you're interested, I have some more stories about my personal trading and investing experience that I will put in the videos. So don't forget to subscribe to see those. Let's recap. You can do trading when you have this. You have a big volume, so you can sell easily or to buy, right? No, it's usually you need to sell, right? So second, you use technical analysis. You need to know how it works. Then you have also some different algorithmic approaches. You need to also recognize patterns in when you do technical analysis as well. And also the last technique is scalping technique. What is scalping? Scalping technique. It's when you not even day trade, but you kind of, you bought here, sell here, you know what your cost per transaction are. If you make a small profit, you're doing it, but you're doing five, 10, probably even more times a day. And that technique was really popular with crypto. Because there you could see, you know, you could earn one to five, even to 10% with scalping, which is, you could not do this with stock market. But that's not the story. You could lose 10% as well in five minutes. In general, if you're pretty attentive, if you spend time, if you know, you know, what your fundamentals should work. But again, I prefer to earn my main income today by some different things, not doing day trading or scalping. Investing. Investing is all about fundamental market analysis, diversification, classical financial principles, and the principle known as buy and hold. And usually when you do an investment like this, you probably invest in the business that you understand specifics of. For example, myself, being a developer, 
I can understand of how IT business works. And that's where it's interesting for me to invest as well. Or if you simply don't want to waste your time, just invest in ETF. Yeah, check out my video here about ETF. If you don't know what that is, that's pretty interesting possibility as well that stock market offers. What is more interesting is that you need to smash that like button. I do believe that all my free money should be invested because that's the way how they can grow because otherwise what money is, money by default is inflationary. This means money loses value over time. So you have to invest them somewhere to, so you get this interest or do you just earn more money with the money you have? Otherwise, if you, it's just sitting in your account, well, it's just disappearing, but you didn't notice it because the number is still the same. But what's changed is the price. Usually traders are skilled technical people who understand how trends work, they understand market psychology, and they try to take maximum of profits out of these fluctuations. As for investors, it's a bit different. Well, it's good that you have the knowledge of how market psychology works in general, right? But that's not what you're looking at specifically. You're looking at fundamentals of any company, whether it's interesting to buy or not. That's why, for example, usually those IT companies are trading with really high P ratio because, well, a lot of people expect future gains. One important thing that Peter Thiel one of the founder of PayPal said one day is that, and I think it was in his book One, by the way, I highly recommend From Zero to One, brilliant book. It takes time for a company, even a great company, to get from the point where we have the technology, even though this technology can work, but still need time for people to, to use it, right? And it doesn't happen overnight. That is why we need to wait. This wait time can be up to 10 years. But so you understand, PayPal, for example, in 2000s, when everything was booming in IT industry, PayPal had this high P ratio. But finally, if you're investing PayPal at that time, you won't be disappointed today, as you understand. So as for the investors, they understand how businesses are run and managed. What is important when you invest in a company even though the, there might be some fluctuation due to a crisis or some other event. But finally, if all things are fine, this should explode in some time from now. But it takes years. But at the same time, imagine you invested $100 in a company and you see 10 to 100 increase in value. To have this 100 increase in value, even over 10 years, it's really hard to do with day trading. And especially when you invest in something, again, you spend much less time. Once you have the knowledge and you understand how business works and how those businesses are managed and what should it be look like. And so you get this information. Yes, you, you should check this information periodically though, because you know, management's changing, business is changing itself. But it also depends whether you invest in a well-established business, which usually will not guarantee you high returns or you invest in startup that proved its technology works. So for traders, if you miss the right time to sell, you can trade for a loss in the day because you need to close before the end of the day. Because during the non-trading time, things could change and you don't want to take that risk because you're taking this particular stock not because of its value over long term, but because of different external things that can impact price. So you don't want to be in this particular stock for too long. And investors, they keep themselves away from trends. They only do investing in value. So they patiently wait until the stock reaches the high which corresponds to their financial goals. At the end of the day, the ones who achieve their financial goal can be called successful. And that's what's the most important, right? If you set your goal, you want to achieve this by trading or investing, and that suits your lifestyle, go ahead. So you have to decide yourself, but that's not all. If you choose one or the other, if you choose to invest or to trade, never mind. but what is important is to stick to it and try to develop the skills, because skills come over time. But that time will pay you off and with great interests, literally. I personally think that investing with trading, I choose investing for myself. But in the same time, investing can be totally different as well. You invest for long terms, yes, 
but the types of investing are different as well and please subscribe to see my future videos what the difference are and I will set up a really interesting experiment where you can earn more by applying one or the other types of investment so keep you posted but don't forget to subscribe I hope that volatility that you can experience in your life will only bring your high profits and that's it see you bye